Bible says, I will not die, but to live and declare the glory of God in the land of the living. You are the one that will claim every good thing for yourself. If they say there is going to be doom, say that is not concerns you. That is not your own. My Lord Jesus Christ in our life, we become nothing. We become nothing. No Jesus, no anything in our life. And whatever we have, whatever power we have, whatever authority we have today is because Jesus lives in us. Today, I speak with authority of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. be a stranger in my father's kingdom I will never be a stranger in my father's kingdom I will never be a stranger in my father's kingdom I will never be a stranger in my father's kingdom I greet you once again today I say how are you how is everything Hope all is well with you. I welcome you once again to this program, a moment of positive change. That you always come to this channel every Friday, 8 to 8 30. God bless you as you are watching us, as you are listening, and you are following us on the social media. You are welcome. My name is Pastor Adekunle Stephen Adedeji, popularly known as Kunle Omala from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Fountain of Power, Orison Agbara, English Stroke Yoruba Parish, located at number 11965, Bisone Street, Suite 106E, Houston, Texas, 77099. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you once again, Lord, tonight. For giving us another opportunity to gather and discuss and pray lord we thank you we thank you for the activities since morning to this time glory and honor be to your holy name almighty god we pray that you come and take absolute control of this program tonight i submit myself to you holy spirit divine as i will be opening my mouth holy ghost fill it up in jesus name let every utterance come directly from you and fill this world with power and anointing. Let it be a great blessing to everyone that we hear, that we watch this program. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As, you, as the name of this program indicates that is the moment of positive change. That is, whatever you have been passing through, when we are talking about changes, we are talking about positive change, not negative one. Once you are watching this program every Friday, I believe strongly it will make a positive change in your life. Now today we want to pray. We want to talk about a diverse kind of problem, how to deal with them. And, and I believe there is any problem in your life tonight. Tonight is the end of that problem. The Lord will give you victory over that problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, when we are talking about problem, problem don't just come like that. Any problem in this world has a starting point. And a point where these problems started. So if, if, it's, if the problem has a starting point, definitely it must have a ending point but the ending point is it ending negatively or positively but we are so much concerned about the positive side that is why we want to treat this topic and pray about it not just treating it because when we talk about something we put it in practical so that uh, you see it what god can do now let's go to the book of psalms chapter 11 verse 3 he said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? It's a question. What, if the foundation is be destroyed, what can the righteous do? But 
The answer I always give, it is a question that everybody has. You are free to, to answer the questions as you feel. But the answer I give is that the righteous we pray. When the foundation is destroyed, the righteous we pray. Oh, some people say, oh, the righteous, we do this, we do that. But I believe strongly that the prayers can change ch change his thing. The prayer cannot change God, but it can change your situation. Your prayer can change your situation. So there is no problem in this life that has not no foundation. He has foundation. Like, uh, like I will make mentions of different kind of foundational problem that people do have in this world. For instance, number one, these are the prob these are the problem inherited. That is when we are talking inherited from the source of our foundation. When you inherit inherit some problem from the the source of your foundation, family foundational problem. You know, if a problem that is is because you come from that family. It's because you come from that family. Okay, let me give you a simple ex simple answer. For instance, a family there's some family that some people in that particular family have already given a bad name, has given bad name from that family. So therefore, if, if the moment you make mention of that your son name, your name, oh, they will say, okay, so this is a person. They might pretend that as if they want to help you. They will remember what your forefather has done, that he has already bastardized that particular family's name. So I just use that as a, as a, as an example. Hardly you see, in Africa, hardly you see any family that doesn't have one issue or the other one issue or the other so most of our problems from africa are are foundational are foundational you know so it could be family causes some family are born into causes that that family have already been caused and how the cause come it could be the one that uh, the causes that just come because of the wrongdoing they have done in the past. In fact, there are some certain, some some family that God Himself pronounced cause upon them, and that cause will go from generation to generation. You understand? Let me give you an example of a lady. This woman, this lady, he dis, he discover that in their family, that no one, no one that is female, that that holder than 40 years before 40 years ladies always die in that family now this lady was he he, has a, he was a believer he was thinking so much about that so he knew one a very very whole the oldest person in the family he said want to go and what is the story what is the history of their family why this thing is happening in their family then when he came to this old man the old man laughs hey, oh I thank God, maybe because of you, God is still preserving my life till today. The lady, he said, do you know why ladies doesn't grow more than 40, even reach 40 years in your family? He said, your forefather, they have a shrine. They used to worship massacred. And in that massacred, they have a shrine that they use human beings as ritual. Now there was a particular lady that they they capture, and is supposed to that lady is supposed to do her birthday, her fortieth birthday, the second day, and the lady was pleading, say please forgive whatever I have done. Ah, uh, tomorrow is my birthday. Please leave me. They say no. They are not going to leave her. They decided to to kill that lady, and that lady raised cause and said nobody as from that moment no woman in your family will attain the age of 40 since then that has been happening in their family just because and because they are born in that family they will have problem and when you even go to some part of southwest in nigeria there are some that when they are pregnant if they want to give birth to baby 
the more a lady that woman where he is before she can give birth to that lady he must climb the roof why there was a a, a slave that he, he was pregnant at the, the days that lady wanted to deliver the hacks her to go and bring corn from the roof the lady was crying with pains they say you must go so he was going as he was going she was crying and when he got to the rooftop the labor catch her and she was she was passing through the labor pains and he was raising courses there's no woman in your family no no any female that be able to deliver except they come up like this since then it has been happening like that let me be if i continue giving you various example i went to uh uh a a press nice some some part of lagos sometimes and a brother was giving testimony he said that he discovered that every male child in their family they don't attain the age of 40. he said even his own older brother that is have been a pastor he said when he was about 40 he said the symptom started and a brother cannot survive it then he decided to pray say lord what is this why this thing is happening why this thing is happening and he pray and he breaks through so he, she was he was giving testimony that night that he is the first man to be to to surpass the age of 40. that is another family part in the southwest that when you go there you want to see an elderly man in that family you will be a madman because at the age of 40 they always run mad and they go back to the village let's begin to give you exa example on and on so there are some problem that are family oriented problem that that is from the source the foundation of where you come from that so you might be praying going up and down if you don't really trace it and by the by the directions of the holy spirit pray the necessary prayer or you do some restitution that will remove the cause out of your uh, family so the lord will bless you in jesus name uh marital marital foundational problem you know some people don't have problem before but the moment they get married it could be the spouse they join together May God was maybe God is not in that union. They just use their wisdom to get someone, and that is the source of their problem. So it's some kind of a problem. How can you solve it? You know, you need to pray and let God lead you and guide you. When you have a bad friend, some the foundation of the some people's problem is their friend. When they are keeping bad friend, that a bad friend that is working against their star that is corrupting their life the bible say even communication corrupt good manner there are some because they are under a bad leader when you go to africa most of our country in africa they have god created give us very good thing mineral resources everything but because of the bad leader is the, the source of the problem they mismanage the economy they with a challenger a attitude I don't care attitude they do things anyhow so the some african country continue to be in problem because why this foundation of that problem is their leader is a leader so when you are under a bad leader or you're under a bad boss you might not be able to get promotion you might not be able to move forward except you are out of that bad leader that is when you can move forward there's no much time to say much about that even environment when the environment you are living any business that you are operating under a cost land can never prosper you are living in a cost house it will be affecting you what is the solution to that you have to move out of that place but i've seen someone like that but in the uh, back is part of lagos so the the landlord just come one day he just did the these are the people that are living in the face me and face you house so the landlord just come and dig the bus passage and put a chain from one end to the other hand and bury it and the people are complaining say landlord why did you do this why is this the landlord say this is my home house if you don't want pack out and they wanted to come out they could not no money to go out if they have house if they get an, a new apartment they will not have money 
And this man doesn't ask them to go. Say, if you want to go out, you are free to go out. It's my, it's my mom. So like that case, you need to pray hard. There is a particular house that's even inside the way. Somebody picked out a tortoise. When they saw that tortoise, all the name of tenant in that house was written on that tortoise. So now tell me, that place, <laughs> the people living there, they are under a spell. So when you find yourself in that condition, you need that some prayer points you need to pray. We will try as much as possible to pray some prayer point little the way we can do it today. Now, and the source of some problem, some uh, some problem is sin. When you commit a sin, the Bible said it is so that sinners that that are died. There was a particular woman who was so wealthy in Nigeria. He has a lot of money. He has two uh, two story building and he has very two big uh, shop at Okiari. But suddenly. It was just she was just started coming down, coming down, coming down, and it could no longer grow up until it become a carrier at my twelve, helping people to carry load. He sold the two houses and he was managing just a room, just a room, no more car, no more people, no more uh, the servant and the the, the all the other uh, the two shop has been given out because he could not manage it again. How the her? What's really wrong? He said what he discovered is that the day he have a a sexual intercourse with him, which is a man friend. Since that day, she has been coming down, coming down, and she could no longer make it again. So, at times, sin could be the source of someone's problem. Then, let me say this one too before we start praying. When you are following a wrong God, when you are serving a wrong God, even when you are serving a wrong God, that anybody serving a wrong God. Serving things that are not really God Himself is under the cause of God Almighty. God calls those that are worshiping, worshiping either worshiping three, worshiping the images, worshiping something that God created, and not Almighty God Himself. You are under a cause. So when you are serving the wrong God, I don't have time to uh, to analyze, but some of us will know what you are, what, what what I'm talking about. Now we want to pray. But the only way you can get through, get born again, when you get born again, examine your life, then just, you might say, I'm born again, but pastor, why, should, why am I passing? You need to sit down and think, why this thing is coming? If you don't know it at God, you can even pray, God, open my eyes to see. The Lord will give you revelation. It has happened to a brother before, and there was a sister, who is, the sister is from, uh, is from, uh, Edo State. This sister discovered that most of the female in their family, they don't used to get married. They're beautiful. They are graduate. Said, so because she got born again, she was crying. Went to prayer Monday, spent like five days. From there, he saw a revelation. And God spoke to him, there is a room in your father's house. Go and, go and open that room and, and clean that room and you will be delivered. When he went back home, during that prayer, he told her mother, her mother said, no, even your father has never opened that room. He said, today, we are going to open that room. My mother said, nobody have the key, because more than 50 years, nobody opened it. He, he looked for hacks, and he broken the door. When he broken the door, he was removed, the cup well had fooled that room, and he was removing, removing, removing. Until when he got to the middle of that particular room, he discovered there was a little bell like a baby's cord. And from there, he removed it. There was a, he found a local pot full of blood, fresh blood inside it. And he removed it and scattered everything. Do you know what? Their forefather did that to protect all the female in their family, or everybody in their family. And that spirit behind that, he said, the only thing I will request from you is to give me your daughter to marry. He says the daughter is going to die. He said, no, 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 no. I'm just going to protect her. That is all. Innocent man does not know. He thought he did it to protect the whole family. Since then, no female child could get husband in that family again. But God used that sister to cause liberation into their family. The Lord will use you to liberate your family too in the mighty name of Jesus. So you are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, let every foundation write down this prayer point because there is no time to be praying along with you. Write them down after this program. Go and go and start praying it point by point. Number one, say, Father, let every foundation that harbor even for my life 
be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every foundation that harbor evil for my life, destroy them now in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to say, every good doors that my foundation are shot against me, be hopeful in the name of Jesus. Number three, every strong man in my family that does not want anybody to fulfill destiny, be bound right now in the mighty name of Jesus. They are going to pray like this. Father, let every glory that have that I have lost to my foundation, to my to my foundation, to my foundational power be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Number number five, you are going to say every power that sponsor yearly affliction in my family die by your own cloth in the mighty name of Jesus. You see some family, every year, every year you, you see that symptom. It happened to you. Say that is how it happened to you in the family. That if you are not from that family, it will not happen to you. That is a bad thing that you were written. You have to reject it. You have to deliver yourself as a particular sickness. Some people, I know some people that every year, a particular season, their leg must swell up. They will know that it's not it's a common thing. No, that is common thing in their family. You are going to say, Father, every garment of affliction, every garment of affliction and trouble that is spiritually made for me, Father, set them on fire in, in some family. It, each person have, have been made spiritually the garment of suffering for them. You are going to see now dealing with source, the this this uh, with the uh, the sorceress, the antagonist. You know, there's that, that's another foundational problem. That is when you have to have when anytime you want to have sorcery, there will be an antagonist. They will be antagonizing your promotion, antagonizing this. Let's open our Bible to Act of Apostles chapter thirteen, verse six to twelve. Act of Apostles chapter 13, verse 6 to 12. We might not be able to, uh, to, to finish all this prayer point today, but we will try. And when they had gone through the eyes unto purpose, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, who, whose name was by Jesus. Number 7. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Verse 7, please which was with the deputies of the country, Sergius, Paulus, a, a, a prudent man who called for Barabbas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. First eight, please. But Elim, Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name be interpretation, which to them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Verse nine. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, verse 10, and said, O fool of all sub subtlety and all mischief, thou child of devil, thou enemies of righteousness, will thou not cease to perfect the right way of the law, verse 11. And now, Behold, the hands of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, nor see the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Verse 12. Verse 12. Okay, 11. Let's, let's, let's put it. You know, this bad Jesus, this early man, he was antagonizing Paul. He wanted to derate the success that Paul had been making on winning that particular soul. That is how you see some people antagonizing your success, antagonizing the breakthrough you are about to have. You are going to pray. You are going to say, Father, let every antagonist of my of, of my success of my success be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, disgrace them. But you are going to pray like this, Father. Let every false prophet, every false prophet that seen, that seen, and monitor my star be blindfolded in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some bad prophet, false prophet, monitoring some people's star. Lord, blindfold them. Don't let them be able to see it again. You are going to say, Father, let every sorcerer speaking even against me die. By their own plot, by their own sword, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to say, Father, silent, every evil mouth, speaking evil against my life, 
speaking even against my children in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to say every satanic agent antagonizing my source. What are you waiting for? Die by fire in the name of Jesus. You know, you duly, you know, uh, uh, maybe next week we continue as uh, as we are we because we want to deal with the, the fowler, you know, those who shot and harrow suddenly. That's why you see some people die suddenly. Some people find themselves in problem unexpectedly because some 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 power of darkness shot and arrow against them. We don't have time to do that today. The Lord will bless you. Make sure you pray all those little prayer points that I've given to you today. And you will surely see the result. If you can fast, you can fast. And you will see breakthrough. You will see the difference. You will see positive change in your life. God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to have this prayer point. I pray, Lord, let your power flow into the life of these people. Let there be positive change. As they are praying this prayer, Almighty God, hear their cry. Answer their prayer in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. My name remains Pastor Adekunle Stephen Adedeji, popularly known as Kunle Omalafion from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Fountain of Power, Holy Swagbara. Every third Saturday of the month, we always have prayer Monday from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Join us for this month, home, and the Lord will bless you. Our, our uh, church, church service always starts every Sunday with Sunday school by 9.30. The Lord will bless you as you join us. You can reach us. You can reach us in our venue, number 11965 Business Street, Street 106E, Houston, Texas, 77099. The Lord will bless you. You can also call my number, plus 1281-857-3658, plus 1281-857-3658. Jesus is Lord. Go and make it. Go and succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. There is going to be a positive change in your life. A great turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible says, I will not die, but to live and declare the glory of God in the land of the living. You are the one that will claim every good thing for yourself. If they say there is going to be doom, say that is not concise you. That is not your own. My Lord Jesus Christ in our life, we become nothing. We become nothing. No Jesus, no anything in our life. And whatever we have, whatever power we have, whatever authority we have today, is because Jesus lives in us. Today, I speak with authority of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus.